The key of C. C major. The key with no sharps or flats. The blank key signature. The natural key. The white keys on the piano. The key that we think of as the starting point for Western diatonic music. The key of C. And it begins on the third letter of the alphabet. Now, you would not be alone in being a little confused by that fact that the third letter of the alphabet is the beginning of our musical experience in the diatonic system. Why not the letter A? What do we do with the letter A? We, we relegate it to note number one in a minor scale. <laughs> Go figure. A minor scale gets to be letter number one, letter A. But that minor scale, that minor key, A minor, that's the minor key that is the relative minor of C major. And that minor key shares the same key signature as that major key. The minor key and the major key are linked. They're in the same key signature. They go together. So it is a set of harmonic sort of uh, atmospheres, harmonic environments, harmonic ideas that are grouped together for very good reason because we need that ma major scale idea and we need that minor scale idea because all of our harmonies in, in our musical system, in, in the diatonic system, all of the harmonies, the shifting harmonies are based on thirds. Chords are all based on thirds. Everything's based on thirds. So we have a major mode and we have a minor mode because we have major thirds and minor thirds. And that's the only kind of thirds we get, basically. We start with that. That's the fundamental idea, major thirds and minor thirds. And so we have scales or keys that begin with a minor third and scales or keys that begin with a major third. It's a duality. There's those two things, those two ideas. And so we have a minor scale and we have a major scale. They are a third apart. And the minor scale is lower conceptually, right? A, B, C. It's the bottom. The minor scale is the bottom. That's the foundation. That is the first note of the key signature, A. So the key signature begins on A. The major scale is up a couple of steps, well, three steps, A, B, C, a third, from the lowest level. So if we think of it as a house, we enter the house, we walk up a couple of steps to get in the house. There we are in the entryway to the, to the house and we are in the key of C major. That's our way in. That is how we get welcomed into the system, into this house. And the minor scale, well, that's down there. That's down in the basement. That's where we keep the wine because, you know, that's a little more interesting. Um, <laughs> the major scale is up there. The minor scale is down there, but they are in the same house. They are the same building. They are the same structure. They are the same key signature. Every key signature works this way. And so if we take the first key signature, we want that key signature to begin with the first letter of the alphabet, and it does. So this is not so strange that the major scale, being above the minor scale, would not begin on the first letter of the alphabet. Why we have C as the beginning of the major scale is because we need a major scale, we need a major key, and we need a minor key, a minor scale. And uh, that gets us going, that gets us started, that gives us a framework. A minor, C major, both need to be there. We don't want to have a system where the lower of two related keys kind of loops around the back side of the alphabet, right? Because if, a, if the major scale began on A, where would the minor scale begin? F sharp? How would you, I mean, you'd have to change a lot of things, but you'd end up on F down a third. I mean, if you made, uh, you know, G to A a, a half step and you made F to G a whole step, then F would be the beginning of the minor scale and, and C and A would be the beginning of the major scale. And that, would that be better? Would that be simpler? The relative minor of the first key, number one, is behind the alphabet sort of boundary line, you know? <laughs> uh, no.
I would say no, I would vote against that. It's better to have the minor scale begin on A if it's the relative minor of C major, which is major key number one, minor key number one. The number one is what we're talking about. The first letter of the alphabet is the beginning of the whole system. So anyway, I got that out of my system. Whew, wanted to say that. Wanted to include that in the video. That will be in future videos. Also, I will be, keep hammering away at that. And I am working on another video right now. It's in the works. It's been in the pipeline for about a month and a half. Uh, and so it's taking a while because it's very complicated. Uh, but I really appreciate everybody subscribing. I really appreciate everybody who has commented. And uh, if there is anything that, that, that's on your mind about the subject matter at hand here, please let me know uh, in the comments. And I will see you soon. Thank you.